Hello, everyone. My name is Mohamed Siami, and today I want to present my uh, research project, which is a mobile telematic pattern recognition framework for driving behavior extraction. Uh, this research is published on the IEEE transaction on intelligent transportation systems journal. And today I want to share my results in this research to you. Thank you for attending. Okay, in this, research, uh, in this presentation, firstly, I will bring an introduction about the mobile telematics and what is the mobile telematics. And then I will explain my research questions in this study and what's the current uh, research gap. And uh, I will explain uh, my uh, main contribution in, in this study, the main, uh, the proposed methodology and experiment, experimental result and the future works uh, in my research. Okay. Before starting, before starting, we need to know what's the telemat what's the mobile telematics. In order to explain the mobile telematics, firstly, we need to know uh, what's the uh, telematics. Telematics is a kind of in-vehicle data recorders that is a kind of uh, hardware devices and GPS sensors that put into the cars and collects the human behavior uh, that trans uh, that transfer this data to a remote server. This technology has been used widely in the transportation field and for the usage-based insurance industry. But this technology was very expensive and hard to implement. So uh, new technology should be provided uh, to reduce the cost and uh, make this technology more easy. So the mobile telematics is provide is a kind of new technology uh, new telematics technology is pro is uh, presented to reduce the complexity of the telematics this technology uses the, the internal devices the all the smartphones uh, smartphones to collect the human behavior uh, so this technology uh, everybody has a, a smartphone and it can use the smartphone in the car and once driving that this uh, driving behavior is collected and uh, so uh, after providing this introduction in this research we want to provide a mobile telematic uh, uh, an unsupervised learning pattern recognition framework to, for mobile telematics industry. So uh, using the most state of art techniques and algorithms. Okay, uh, we had uh, four main research questions in this study. The first one, how can we use raw mobile telematics data for uh, categorizing driving behavior? Because the mobile telematic data is a kind of uh, trajectory data and the uh, different position is, uh, recorded using the device. So this device needs to be transformed in a new format that uh, is understandable for machine learning models. And also how can we provide an unsupervised learning framework using the most state of art techniques and algorithms such as deep learning and how can we apply and does it uh, helpful for us to, uh, read, to find the uh, the most significant driving pattern in the mobile telematics domain. And what is the best clustering algorithms uh, for categorizing driving a style with, uh, with a data set without any label? Uh, Mobile telematics data is a kind in the real world situation doesn't have any label. So what should we do once we have we don't have any label in this kind of data? And also how can we identify and how can we match the extracted driving pattern in the mobile uh, telematics domain in the real world situation and in the current literature in the in, in the industry? Okay. Uh, so in this case, uh, in this research, uh, in order to solve this, uh, to find the answer of this question, we found uh, four major gaps in this study. The first one is that most of the current uh, research in the driving style pattern recognition and pattern analysis just mainly focus on the supervised learning technique 
and only few study focus on the unsupervised learning and pattern uh, recognition method using unsupervised learning techniques. And also to the best of our knowledge, most of the research in this field mostly focus on the uh, data gathered from the questionnaires, from the in site investigation, laboratory simulation, and uh, we don't, we didn't find any, if we find only few studies with uh, real world data. So, and we believe that the uh, human behavior is dynamic and we cannot just focus on the simulated data. And also, uh, the most important thing is that the mobile telematic doesn't, uh, has not been studied in great detail in the previous studies. Uh, we have, uh, we had five major contribution in this uh, research. The first one uh, for the data preparation and change detection in, in the uh, mobile telematics data. Mobile telematics is a kind of trajectory data, so we need to transform this data in a, a new format that is uh, understandable for machine learning model as a kind of time series data. So and. Uh, the time series data is a very big data and so we need to uh, reduce the complexity of time series data using a change detection algorithm to find the most important time frames with the uh, time important time frame which has the most uh, important value for the analytics and also we provide a novel unsupervised learning uh, algorithm for unlabeled data. Uh, once we don't have unlabeled data, so we provide an unsupervised learning framework to extract driving pattern in the mobile telematics domain. And also in order to reduce the complexity of data. So uh, we, we had 45 feature of the uh, data. So we need to reduce the complexity of data. Uh, we reduce the complexity using SOM and deep autoencoder and uh, uh, to find the best solution for this method. And uh, also we develop an empirical analysis of five major clustering algorithms based on the results of uh, our, which are provided by uh, SOM and deep autoencoders. Uh, using uh, four major uh, measures, uh, three measures, uh, execution time, uh, DB index, and CH, CH index. And finally, <coughs> finally, we verify the extracted result. So we need to map the extracted results from the clustering algorithm to the real world uh, and current uh, literature. So we need to understand what's the meaning of each driving pattern in the uh, extracted patterns. This is the or proposed methodology. Uh, as my research is very practical, so I want to, uh, I cannot, I don't have enough time to explain all of the detail. Just focus on the most important parts. Uh, Mobile telematic data generate trajectory data and the trajectory data shows the position of the car in one second. And uh, putting all of these position in close to each other generate a time series. So we transform the trajectory data to a time series data and we calculate uh, velocity, acceleration, x acceleration and y acceleration to understand the driving behavior uh, of each driver and to create a stream data, one time series data. And once the time series data prepared, we need to uh, select the most important time frames using change detection algorithm. Because by investigation, uh, by investigating in the uh, mobile telematic data, we understand that uh, we have some time frames that the uh, 
uh, car didn't move significantly, but the mobile telematic device collect the information. So we need to uh, reduce the volume of the data and we need to remove some of the unnecessary data in this time series. So we use change detection algorithm to remove unnecessary data. Once the, uh, we provide all of this data, uh, we develop a two-stage clustering algorithm uh, and we reduce the complexity of data using two different methods. The first one, SOM, uh, SOM unsupervised uh, learning, and the second one, deep autoencoder. Uh, we provide uh, two different maps for these two methods to decrease the complexity of data. Once the data uh, is uh, ready by these two map of uh, once the data reduce the uh, once these method reduce the complexity of data, we use uh, five major clustering algorithms uh, to find the best clustering algorithm in this study. And finally, we analyze and uh, investigate on all of these extracted pattern to understand what happened on the data. Okay, in order to explain my experimental result, firstly, I need to explain what was my data. My data was a very big data. It was more than 10 gigabytes of driving behavior from 2,500 drivers. And each driver has, uh, we had almost, uh, 50,000 uh, driver and so was because the data set was very big so according to the previous studies uh, each driver has their own significant driving style so by increasing the volume and number of driver uh, we don't have any significant knowledge uh, in for analyzing data so we have selected only 20 uh, drive uh, 23 for each driver uh, these trips uh, the length the traveling time of this, this trip was a range between 23 minutes to 30 minutes so according to the previous study this amount of data was enough for extracting uh, to provide a general knowledge uh, about the driving uh, patterns. Okay, as I told you before, the change detection, uh, the driving uh, stream is a velocity, acceleration, and uh, x acceleration and y acceleration. As you can see, this is the input data and this is the change score. We have calculated the change score of the each time frame using the change detection algorithm to find the change score for all of our data. This is, if you have a look, the first uh, graph shows the change score of the data, the change score of each time frame. So we selected the most important time frame, the most important time frame which has the most, the highest level of the change score. So uh, once we select this driving behavior, we go to the next step for, to start the analysis. If you have a look to this study, to, to this figure, uh, we, we selected five major time frame in this study. After analyzing, uh, we had very big data. We, we had more than 10 million uh, time frames that we have selected uh, 300 almost uh, 400,000 time frames for analysis analyzing the driving behavior so uh, we propose two different methods for uh, reducing the complexity of data the first one was som uh, map which has uh, 21, uh, the map size was uh, 21 uh, by 134 prototypes of data that transform the data that uh, to reduce the complexity of the input data. And uh, in order to find the optimum size for this map, 
we follow the previous study in this field to find out what's the optimum number of map size for SOM. And after that, we clusters uh, the SOM results. And uh, for deep autoencoder, we provide a deep autoencoder with nine layers that uh, uh, the input feature was uh, 45 and the output feature was uh, three. This is the output feature and this is in encode. Uh, we did encoder, encoding and decoding to reduce the uh, gap, uh, the uh, reduce the error rate of these two. And after optimization function, we, uh, after reaching to the optimized point, we uh, use the encoder function to reduce the uh, dimension of the data. <coughs> Uh, as you know, uh, the unsupervised in our domain was unlabeled, so we cannot use the, uh, the normal uh, criteria of uh, measure for uh, supervised learning, such as accuracy, AUC, ROC, different kind of uh, supervised learning measure. Uh, we use uh, other measures such as uh, BDI index and CHI index. Uh, and uh, execution time to compare the performance as k-mean, mini-batch, spectral clustering, AGG clustering, and batch clustering to find the best clustering algorithm using SOM and deep autoencoding. And after finding the best clustering algorithm, we find that the SOM plus k-means clustering algorithm has the best performance uh, in comparison all of them. And so in this case, we find the best clustering, uh, optimum number of clusters using the sum of uh, a square error, uh, the best clustering algorithm is a method uh, that we has the improvement less than 1%. And finally, we provide a matching algorithm to find out which the which of the clustering algorithm uh, was the extracted pattern to the previous literature. And we found 29 clusters and understand all of these clusters according to the previous literature so and for the future work uh, we want we pro provide uh, a new decision support system which ex extract criteria automatically from the uh, big data using unsupervised learning this uh, and also propose a new risk assessment framework using this driving behavior and fuzzy logic this uh, paper is published uh, is submitted to the fuzzy IEEE, IEEE transaction fuzzy systems and uh, you, this uh, kind of label data can be used for, uh, for supervised learning. And also this methodology can be applied with other domains. References, sorry for, uh, it takes more than 15 minutes. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay, okay. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks uh, Mohammed. 